giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. I'm Elizabeth Kling with Mediacom News Leaders. Rock, paper, scissors is a game truly anybody can play, and this month you can play it for a great cause in West Des Moines. Here to tell us about the Rock, Paper, Scissors showdown is Nick Kuhn, the chairman of the Justice League of Food and the owner of the Hall in West Des Moines. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, so, okay, let's first of all start with the Justice League of Food. Tell us about this nonprofit because you do some incredible work for um, at-risk youth in our community. We do. Uh, <clears throat> so the Justice League of Food is our, it's a public charity, it's a 501c3. And we have two nonprofit missions. Mission number one is to train uh, at-risk and homeless youth, ages 18 to 24, mm -hmm. in the uh, in culinary arts. So we we give them paid full-time apprenticeships for two years, and we teach them. And we have one of the greatest chefs in the country leading the charge in terms of the, the culinary program. And his name is Sean Wilson, who is the former owner of Proof. Um, the other thing we do is we're also sort of a Meals on Wheels kitchen for Polk County. So we make the community meals that go out to uh, actually two of nine community centers within the metro here. So <clears throat> those are centers where if you cannot afford to feed yourself or your family, you just show up yeah. and eat dinner and no questions asked. So we're, we're a preparation kitchen for that. Provides a very, very important service for so many people in our community. And, and, and talk about the, the transformation you see with those at-risk youth coming into the program initially and then two years later when they leave. Well, we, we don't know about two years, but just since May when we launched yeah. the kitchen, it, it's really kind of amazing because they, they come in uh, scared, uh, <laughs> apprehensive. They have no training, no even on the life skills side of things. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of barriers that they've got. So our, our job is to is to help them overcome those barriers. Uh, the technical training, believe it or not, is the least of which we do. It's more mm -hmm. of the life skills, mm -hmm. but the transformations, pretty awesome. I mean, the confidence, watching their confidence build up just in a matter of a few months, uh, teaching them to come in on time, uh, right. teaching them to just come in. You know, those are those are big challenges that we have. But to watch them start to become young adults, yeah, that, that gets us up every morning. Totally, that's gotta be so rewarding to see that, that transformation taking place. And, and now to think that, that everybody could have a part in that to some degree through this just um, really fun um, event coming up October 12th. Yeah. Tell, us about <laughs> the, tell us about the showdown and how well, this will benefit the organization. Yeah, so Rock, Paper, Scissors is one of many events we do at the hall. In, in fact, we, we built the hall to be uh, a revenue platform for the nonprofit. So we really built it for fundraising. Mm -hmm. And Rock, Paper, Scissors is a, is a fundraising event. We've teamed up with the Rotary Club. Uh, we did it a year ago and we're, we were kind of shocked at how many people showed up. <laughs> um, in fact, the governor of Iowa just showed up. Really? And signed up online. Her staff really didn't even know she was coming. Yeah. And she just wanted to play. So we had about 200 show up last year. We expect it to be even bigger this year, but it's, it's open to the public, uh, $5 admission for kids. Ten dollars for adults, and everybody just starts playing. And <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. And it, it's <clears throat> it's funny watching four-year-olds play forty-year-old men. Oh yeah. And uh, so there's no age divisions. No. It's, it's everybody for themselves. No, it's, well, it's rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> right. In fact, we find that the. Uh, the younger kids actually are better. Do a little bit better. Uh, they just think about it less. They, they don't overanalyze things. <laughs> right. They just play. Sometimes just keep it simple. Yeah. So that's our big event coming up uh, on, uh, on the 12th. And that's a co-fundraiser for the Rotary Club and the JLF. Uh, $500 cash prize to the winner. Ooh. And then uh, any minor under the age of 14, whichever minor makes it furthest in the tournament, they've got $100 coming to them as well. Oh, that's great. So to get signed up, uh, what do you have to do? Yeah, just go to our Facebook page. There's a little ticket button or buy ticket button on there. It's through Eventbrite. You can just get on, uh, click on that button and, and purchase your tickets. Uh, registration, you can also just show up the day of. Uh, registration starts at 11 a.m. We'll wrap that up about 12.30 and then the competition starts at 12.30. Games get underway. All yeah. right. Well, thank you so much for coming in and best of luck with the tournament and all of your work with the Justice League of Food. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, we've been talking with Nick Kuhn, the chairman of the Justice League of Food and the owner of the Hall in West Des Moines about the Rock, Paper, Scissors showdown. Join us next time here on Mediacom News Leaders.